I'm a coffee addict <laughs> and I like the effect of alcohol. Welcome to a new episode of Raw Life Talk. Here we talk about everything and anything. So you're gonna maybe learn a bit more about us on a personal way. Today's topic is coffee and alcohol while traveling or going out on weekends. So I'm a coffee addict. <laughs> <laughs> and it's difficult for me when I'm at home to not drink loads of coffee. I try to keep it up only for the morning, but sometimes I do drink some in the afternoon. That's the downside of working at home and having everything available. Alcohol is something that is really here in our society and also really present uh, when traveling, going out on weekends, free camping, when you meet new people, just like the coffee in the morning, in fact. And um, these two kind of drinks, we personally think and also know because it's not something that people don't know. Alcohol is not good for your health, even in a moderate way, um, or going full in, it's not good. And coffee, I personally think it's the same. My husband did um, also experience this uh, this way. Why am I talking about this? Because um, we are trying to get uh, prepared, being healthy. Uh, he's into uh, sports since he's little and um, we did realize that getting older and the downside of drinking alcohol does really affect your day-to-day -day life on a regular basis and it also does affect how you enjoy your traveling. So maybe you did notice that when we were going traveling or out on the weekend, I think you never saw us like with some beers or a glass of wine or even talking about having a nice glass of wine or a nice beer, uh, chilling outdoors in nature with our Defender. You never saw that because in fact, this is something that we don't do. So we don't do it not because we don't like it. In fact, this is maybe the problem. I like the effect of alcohol. He did like the effect of alcohol. So we were like kind of heavy drinkers, weekend drinkers when we were younger and getting older and uh, enjoying bivouac and free camping more often Alcohol isn't something that we took out with us because we knew that it would have had an effect on the next day. Uh, we would be hangover, maybe more now than when we were younger. And on the health side, even if you drink just a little bit, it's not good. And it's kind of complicated also when you meet new people that they uh, do enjoy having a glass of wine or a beer and that you say, no, thank you, I'm all good with water. What, you only drink water? Yeah, I'm fine with water. And this shouldn't be a judgment. If people don't want to drink alcohol, it's not because there's a problem. It's simply because we do personally realize that um, it's not good for us in a way that it does affect our um, capacity uh, to enjoy all sorts of adventure. And as I said, I do like the effect. I did have like a lot of fun going out and drinking and all that. This is something that we did enjoy a lot, but sometimes it was just a bit too much and today as we are more focused on our health and getting the real capacity uh, physical capacity to withstand 
more adventure, more exploration with the Land Rover Defender, being able to get us out of bad situation uh, physically. He's able to do a lot of stuff on the car, for example, uh, mechanics stuff. And what he's able to do, I'm not able to do it because I don't have the same capacity as he does. But for example, I want to have uh, more capacity than the children, obviously, to be able to be sure that I could get them out of, the, of a bad situation. So this is maybe like in a preparedness kind of mindset. Yeah, do you understand what I'm trying to say as a message? I'm not judging if you enjoy alcohol and having also a coffee like I do in the morning or drinking a beer at night or when you go free camping. It's your choice, but we personally feel that it's not something that we enjoy when we go out traveling because we know that it does lower down our, our physical and mental capacities the next day or the next days even sometimes and Sometimes when you go out and enjoy a bit too much and get into <laughs> drinking a bit too much alcohol, um, sometimes you did have some plans and you don't go for your plans because you're too much hangover. And this is something that we don't want to happen anymore. Regarding the coffee, I personally know that uh, physically, maybe drinking as much coffee as I do isn't good. And I do realize that I drink more coffee when I'm at home working than when we are out and about with the Defender because when we are out and about with the Defender, I don't have the time, like I have the time to make myself a coffee, but then I don't have the time to like, chill around because we have like to we need to pack up everything then we're on the road then there's like the adventure going on and i don't have the time to drink it so i don't really think about it as a need so this is also making me realize that it's in fact an addiction i love the taste of coffee i love the smell of coffee but also i don't like when I go out drinking some coffee in restaurants or cafe because I find them like really bad and I'm not complicated with my coffee at home. I don't like, like have high end coffee at home there. So yeah, it was just a topic that we wanted to bring up and also um, know what you think about it. Are you the kind of always having a pack of gear or a beer, sorry, a pack of beer in your car with uh, some wine also for when you go out or are you more like us and try to enjoy the adventure at its most with all your capacities and being like really there with the mindset that you love is going on adventure and being capable of doing everything and being 100% there. Okay, yeah, was it <laughs> a good topic? I don't know, maybe we're gonna piss off some persons. It's not a judgment. I mean, I like the effect of both alcohol, coffee, and the thing is that when you realize that it does have an incidence on your way of, lo of living and what you want to do and that you're not able to do it because of that, it might mean that there's a problem. So yeah, this is why you don't see us with beers and wine and cocktails. And this would be a really bad idea to take gin tonic outdoors because it, uh, remember, it did go badly. Yeah, we did it once and it, children weren't there, but yeah, no, not a good idea. It was really horrible afterwards. Okay, there you go. <laughs> if you enjoyed, like, subscribe and share. And also comment below to let me know what kind of topic would interest you that we could talk about and share our opinion. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.